Welcome to Hacked to Stacked, the series where I, Seabold, embark on an epic adventure to rebuild my hacked Iron Man's bank after I lost it all. It's been an unreal journey so far and if you do enjoy today's instalment of the series, please be sure to click those like and subscribe buttons. Enjoy. Okay, welcome to episode number seven of Seabold's Hacked to Stacked. It is the top episode. This was the episode I promised you, a sang or a scythe. Now you'll just have to wait and see if I get one of those drops. I've recorded about 250 chest openings and I was torn as to whether to show you every single one or just show you the purples. I've decided to just show you the purples because seeing a lot of empty chests is not fun. And let me tell you, I went dry on purples. It's been painful out there, but enjoy the episode. And since this grind took so long, there's also some next clips, so a bit of extra spice in there for you as well. Enjoy. Oh, oh, purple for me. 108 dry. 108 dry. Fuck. Uh, that's unique. Clean run. No one checked that table. No way. Hey. Oh, purple. What are we gonna get? Go on, zoomy boy. Zoom's first purple. Avernic. Avernic for the zoomy boy. Purple. Oh. purple, my purple, my purple. Oh, let's go. Let's go. <laughs> I'm like a bully, bully. Am I coming Send it, send it. No. Oh no. Oh my god. Oh no. <laughs> Is it unique on the rebuild? Didn't get the voice recording for this one, so you're talking to post commentary Seabold. And uh, we got Kelek pulling in the purple this time. Good luck, Kelek. Avernic. Money. Right, slight diversion. We are off to Zami. And uh, this is because we have a slayer task of 132 graters. And let me just take a quick pause and look at the combat achievements we have left in the hard tier. I've left this, let's left this for a while. We have two hards left. So we've got a finish Krill while all of his bodyguards are dead. And then we also just need to kill Krill with a Demon Bane weapon. So I have Magma Helm to try and Venom the minions and uh, just wait for them to die, basically. And then Arclight, obviously, to try and kill Zami off. Um, maybe we'll try and get both done in the same, same kill. We'll see what happens. Running in for that last arc light might get me smacked down, but if I've got enough HP, just switch to pray melee, we'll be fine. And then for the rest of the task, uh, we do still need a Zami spear, so maybe, maybe, please don't respawn. I think we've done the minion one. We should have definitely done it now. There we go, demonic showdown. Hey, we did it and we died. At the same time, but we got the combat achievement done. <laughs> That's so funny. Uh, I guess I'll grab my stuff and then we'll go grab the reward. Yeah, I just, uh, I thought I was going to die, but I thought I'd just go for it. Just get it done. All right, we got our stuff back. Let's speak to Gommel and see what we get. I actually can't remember too much about what rewards I get. I know I get the private God Wars rooms. Let's see uh, what else. Maybe there's a Slayer Helm we get. We got some Hilt, we got Hilt 3. So uh, you have an easier time obtaining hard clues. Ooh, increased max quantities offered when you get boss tasks. Uh, you Fewer minions for the KC, that's good. And get more common EQ keys, which is really good for my Armadil grind. And I need to do some Sarah too. And you get the most expensive private God Wars rooms. Thank you. And this is unlimited teleports to Trollheim, which is uh, actually potentially worth using. Mm, it's it's debatable. It's much faster, obviously, but I usually just use my max cape 
and just run from the, the farming patch because that means I don't have to bring a house tab. I just have a max KP in, in the invent, which helps um, use, you can use it as a holy wrench and stuff. So it has benefits to bring. Whereas this uh, would take a spot and give no other benefits. Uh, it's debatable, but it's useful. Uh, we'll use the lamp maybe on agility, I guess. Uh, yeah, we'll use agility. It's my lowest uh, slow skill. And uh, there we go, hard diary complete. Every time I look to my stem, Oh, oh my purple. another purple for Nilo today. Uh, on my MVP, giddy. on my huh? MVP, it's gonna be a scythe, my guy. Yeah. Let's go, let's go. Good luck, Sending man. Good boost. luck, man. Go on. Thank you, thank you. Uh, oh my god, another chesty chest guard. Yeah, you can have it, bro. Uh, Oh, it's a purple. Yeah, we're taking this. Wait, I'm gonna hide the stream because they're bingo. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> I don't want to leak their bingo. I feel like. Aren't you? Aren't you raiding the cherry? No. Really Let's like see. <clears throat> what is the seawolf? Isn't it anything? It doesn't make, they need it doesn't anything. Make any difference? Yeah, exactly. So what? What difference does it make? Tell you, it's not a bingo tile. <laughs> <laughs> That's so That's rough, so man. The one thing. Now, Mr. Nilophobia pulling in the purples here. Nilo has unreal Tob luck. He the amount of purples that he took off me. No, the amount of purples he he earned in these raids was ridiculous, and he pulled the Avernic here. More money for the team, and here we go again. Only a few raids later, back with Nilo and Kutsi and PNN as well. PNN's MVP. I wonder who gets the purple. Oh, of course it's Nilo. And he pulls the rapier. That would have been a unique for me. My turn to shine again, pulling in a purple on 360KC. This was a We Do Raids run. And really looking forward to seeing something nice here. We've had, you know, two Justy pieces so far on the grind and uh, 360KC. We've gone a bit dry again. Let's see what we get. Love heart on, of course, and face guard. That's a big rip, big rip for the boys. Back to topping with the boys and Nilo pulls another purple. Let's see what he gets this time. Oh my God, no way. No way. No fucking way. There's no fucking way. <laughs> no way! Fuck you! Congrats! <laughs> Woo! Aye aye, butterfly! There's no fucking way. Oh, I'm so jealous. <laughs> so, yes, Nilo the Tob Spoon pulled himself a scythe on the day before next, and now it's time to start the next clips. This was day one, uh, the day of Entity Hider and endless coughing and sipping Super Restores to keep your range level up and running around in full Ancestral with a Tebow on trying to just, you know, drain your mage instead of your range. Day one was painful, but then the remainder of these clips are from the private instances where things got a lot better. So enjoy. Oh. Hey. Second Fuck. item scene. Dummy. Not an Iron Man. No! Oh. <laughs> Split eye cough tank. Shit, Whoa, boys! What the fuck? Jesus Christ! Oh, uh... shit. You just missed it, CG. What did I miss? You saw a helm uh, and We've then literally seen legs. nothing all, all night. It's a horn, I'm baby. Yeah, I'm sorry, that's a... Um... Guy got Niho horn. Oh shit. Wait, are yeah. you in an instance? Yeah. Let's go to Overhelm for a G challenge. Legend of the game. No way, no way, no way. Oh baby. Oh baby, we're on the shard grind. Hey. <laughs> oh my god. No way. 
Well, we have a horn. I, uh, about 509kc, I believe, for the horn. And I'd had nothing until then. I was losing motivation. And now, I suppose I need to stay until I get 250 nihil shards. We are not even halfway, but we're, yeah, we're doing okay. Uh, probably like 1k kc to, uh, to get enough shards for the, for the bow. Unless something changes with shards, but hey. Um, the issue is we didn't get the ACB on the rebuild yet. Um, no ACB. So we have a horn we can't use, but we do have a nice juicy 500 mil bank value added, added back in. So the total, the total bank value is three bill again. Um, which was, it's not far off what my bank used to be before the hack. Um, so that's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. My total bank value over the years has been a lot higher, but I dropped off a lot of dupes. So uh, very cool to see the horn. Very cool. Uh, the uh, collection log is now, let me see, looking like this. Uh, one horn and just shards, uh, two out of eight. Now, realistically, I really want the armor more than anything else, the van braces, and so I'm happy to continue um, to get the shards whilst hunting those. Um, it's just painful on the super stores. However, with the current Red X meta, it's not so bad, but I do think that's probably gonna get fixed tomorrow. Uh, so yeah, Niho Horn. Niho Horn. Just loading in the Torva plate to drop to us. Lag. Nothing wrong with the world, by the way. Oh, Nihil no Horn Pastry! Way. Way. Pastry! 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 Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Bro! Oh, that's so sick. Yes, it was! Set as well, didn't it? Tell you how. Finally got a drop. Uh, and there's loads of shitty Iron Man, so there's bigger drop for us. We're, we're splitting horn. Shit, we're splitting horn, you idiot. Oh, oh shit. Oh shit. Ah. Uh, oh. oh. Bye bye, Zebo. Wow. <laughs> hey, the Zarek Van Braces for thingy. Here we go. Tour plate body for big tour. Another item seen. We fucking no way, got it, buddy. baby. No way, no way, no way. <laughs> yes, no baby. Way. <laughs> Give oh, me that oh. crossbow, baby. Oh. <laughs> it's worth not coming to the top. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> and sword, baby. Oh my god, this is spoon chip. We're popping off. Oh, we're still there. Getting that ACB gives us with a uh, leaves us with a green Commander Ziliana log. We still need another hilt, but because my ACBs originally were before the log came out, we are now complete, which is nice to see. My yes. purple. Oh, lovely, <laughs> lovely. Hi YouTube. Hiya. <laughs> Mate, the spoon continues tonight. Jesus, ACB and the three justy pieces in the last. Uh, Rapey, I'm calling. 300 KC or something. Let's go. Fuck. Oh, fuck's sake, man. We did it. Eight shards on the ground. We did it. We're out of here. Let's go make the the Zarite bow, Zarite crossbow, and use that on there. Create a Zarite crossbow. Woohoo! Let's go. Look at that. Beautiful, beautiful. Yo, what the fuck? What the fuck, dude? No fucking way. No way. <laughs> the first kill with the ZCB. There's no fucking way. Torva plate, buddy, what? Wow. All right. Well, I was really, really not expecting that. And uh, that's huge. That's absolutely huge. I was not planning on doing this for Dorva, to be honest. So we use our chest plate. Goodbye, chest plate. I hope I don't regret this. Uh, it should, I done looked up on the wiki and it should be fine. 
Uh, do I use this on the on the forge now? Uh, do I need a anvil? There's an anvil right here. Uh, <laughs> right, we'll go get a hammer. Right, we have a hammer now. Let's try again. Hammer, hammer. Two bandosian components for the plate body. Dun dun dun. Soon. Oh, look at that. Torva plate body. 400 mil. That looks so sick. That looks so good. I'm not a fan of the armor, but it does look... Ah, am I a fan? If I think it looks good? It looks good. Torva plate body obtained. Replace the Bandos chest plate. A new best in slot item obtained. Release. Place that in there. Look at that. Yes. That's so sick. We put our component, extra components in there for when we maybe one day get uh, legs or plate or helm. Hey, pretty cool. Look at that. I look so strong. <laughs> I look so strong right now. New Tob set up. Back to Tob. No more necks for now. <laughs> okay, and that is where episode seven comes to an end. I wish, I wish I could have stuck to my promise, you know, Sang, Scythe, bring out the top episode. But I started the top hunt in November. It is now halfway through January. It's January 15th, all right? So the episode's coming out. We've had some massive, massive drops. I'm wearing my Zarite bow. I'm wearing my, uh, what's it, Torvar body. And we got the ACB for the bow as well during this grind, which was, I got spooned. I, I did like 100 KC and got ACB. And then we got two face cards and two chest cards, which is painful, painful. But we saw some friends get some incredible drops. Shout out to Mr. Nilo, you massive spoon. And the top grind continues in this Torva plate body. It's pretty much all I want from next right now. Next week, we might find out what the meta is a bit more with Montrix Salmon. But for now, next is not something that I want to be grinding. Excuse me, people. Next is not something I want to be grinding too much. Uh, it's a huge supply drain and I find Tob a lot more engaging. So next episode is Tob part two. I'm hoping it's not going to be as big of a gap between episodes. I'm going to try and go hard. I'll try and do nothing but Tob. I'm going to try and actually turn my luck around. We look at our Tob luck right now. It's not amazing. Two Sangs were before the hack. Two Avernix were before the hack. And two of the chess cards were before the hack. So, you know, not many purples on the log. That has to turn around at some point. So make sure you stay subscribed. Make sure you keep an eye on that sub box. And I'll see you in episode eight of Seabolt Hacked to Stacked. By the way, banks at 3.4 bill. That's pretty much what I got hacked at, which is really good to see. It's probably going to go down when the Torvas and the Zarite stuff crashes. But right now, 3.4 bill, I'll take it, baby. We're stacked.